I may just have to go and check out the other way because this is just a veritable mess. How I was not on fire there, I don't think I'll ever know. This is looking crappy. This is a dungeon of some sort. I'm almost, I'm almost assured of it myself. I'm almost self-assured. My torch placement today is just appalling. I've gone through eight torches already. It's time to leave, I'd assume. And if I seem like a skittish pansy, guess what? You're right, I'm a skittish pansy. Now shut up and let me work. Because <laughs> at the moment, I'm not willing to risk me behind to just a hunch. Oh, what the hell? Is it how late? Is it really dark? Really, really? Oh! Oh! Look! A tree! A tree! A tree! Yes, that is what we need in this house. His house. Okay, we're gonna put this set. Oh, we have so much string. All we need is a veritable zombie spot, and then we can start. Oh, yes! I added a new mod just to make my life that much harder. I added the tornadoes and weather mod! Yes, trees will decay their leaves. And such, they will. Tornadoes will spawn. I'm, I've assured it. So all in all, things are gearing up to be rather deadly and dangerous purposefully on my behalf. Yes! We've got wool now. What we're gonna use this for is one, two, three. Oh, yes. However, since our spawn is set to right here, we're just gonna drop it off in the chest. And now we're gonna smash this wood to bits. Since we've got a coal source now. And then smash it to stick bits. And actually get ourselves a decent size amount of, co of torches a going. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Alright, what I'm going to do is instead of uh, worrying about the details, I'm going to go down, back down into the caves and explore down there. I'm going to bring a second pick just in case. And I've decided this cobble needs to come as well, as well as the speed potion. A splash potion of regen won't hurt too. There are two, there are various styles of super hostile people can play. You can play either very super frugal, like I've been trying to at this point, or you can play the style I've just switched to, which is very super hardcore but efficient. Because in the end, it's it'll all get the job done. One just ha both are just as risky as the other one because you could end up going into a situation where you need materials and you don't have enough, or you could end up going into a situation where you'll lose them all if you bring a lot. In the end, it's what you feel most comfortable with that should take precedence with you. Alright, as it stands, this world's just trolling with me. So I am gonna be as super prepared as possible, and I'm also going to be anti-spider. To a fault. There will be no, there will be little to no spider intervention on their behalf. Because I hate spiders. I understand they're important to the ecosystem and all that jazz, but they can be important to the ecosystem somewhere else.
There's also another reason I'm collecting a lot of string, and it's the backpack mod, really. This is a lot of coal. It's making me... It's a, it's a suspicious amount of coal, really. Vex gives no free lunches. That is... That's a saying that... Uh, that is actually Greek! And it translates really, really well! Actually, almost has a direct translation. Oh! Pissing! Rare zombie! Blinded! Shit. Sounds like he ported himself on the wall. What? There's just like walls and walls of coal. Why? Another reason I'm just getting rid of all the cobwebs just besides the string is the fact that, well, you really, really don't want to get caught off guard. And if you do get caught off guard, the last thing you want is to get caught in a spider web, because then your body you will probably just get sent into a flying friend. You will begin to panic, and then all hope is lost, because then you aren't thinking straight. I'm also super lighting the place up, because knowing Vex, he likes his spawners. Vex knows how to work a mob spawner. He knows how to work mob chambers and such stuff. He also knows how to put them in places you won't see them until it's too late. But this is a, a maddening amount of coal. We've got a coal mine, that's for sure. I could probably use some food, but that one steak won't be enough in the long run. And knowing my luck, it's probably night now. And that is why I have Hexit on, because it'll do that. Auto-switch my tools. Which, while unnecessary, makes life a little easier. Just that much easier. I'm gonna grab loads and loads of coal. Jeez, this is more action than I've had in a while on this series, sadly. And that's such a shame, considering what we've been doing. Spot! Where are you? Really? Really? The fuck? How did I break? Get This is going to kill my pick. Oh, the hell, man! Arg. Okay, so that's why I was so hell bent on killing him. L rare mobs drop. Rare loot, so now I have actual armor to me name. Issue is, I've just literally obliterated all my pick, all my tools on them because they have super rust on them. Especially the rust, the ruster picks. Oh god, the rusters. Rust based, the rust uh, mobs can literally drain the abilities of your weapons nearly three times as fast, so using weapons on them is actually quite a risky gamble but again super hostile is a one giant risky gamble and I have a feeling that I am just getting very lucky with this gambling and now that I have no sword this might get a little dicey what the hell is that okay so we know that this sand trap was definitely here to try and end me, so that means there was something here that- Ah! Oh, nope, dead. Fucking hell. Yeah. Eh? Why did I spawn there?! Oh, pissing. Bloody hell. Okay. What's gonna happen is, I'm gonna run over here. Ow. I'm gonna grab me some toolage. Then I'm gonna run back. Back down there. 
Swing, swing, swing. Pick, sword, shovel. Beef. Okay, what's gonna happen is crap. Piss. Uh, the moon. Try me, creeper. No. You fucking asshole.